This is a companion video for the Preparing Your Clay chapter from my book, Pottery for Beginners. In this video, I'll show you the ram's head wedging method. Working on your absorbent surface, start by weighing out one kilo of clay. I found this a good amount to practice with. Pat the clay into a stocky log shape. Place the log on the surface in front of you with the long edge of the log parallel to the table's edge. Place your palms at each end of the log, fingers loosely gripping the clay at the back, thumbs pointing away from you. Keep your arms straight if you can and use your upper body weight as much as possible. This will be kinder on your wrist. Keep your fingertips behind the log, gather the clay up and tilt it slightly towards you. Using the heel of your hands, in a short, firm movement, push the clay away from you and towards the surface of the table. You're only aiming to press about half an inch into the surface of the clay. Gather the clay back up and tilt it slightly towards you again. The heel of your hands will now be on a slightly different part of the clay. Push down again with the same motion as before. Repeat. Putting one foot slightly in front of you and one behind enables you to keep your balance whilst rocking backwards and forwards during the wedging motion. What you're doing here is similar to kneading bread, but instead of adding air in, you're pushing air out. You're mixing the clay and forcing the particles to pack tightly together, creating a homogenised lump, which will be stronger and easier to work with. Ram's head wedging method is so called because the clay takes on the appearance of a ram's head during the process. Many people are too enthusiastic with their pressure at first, so be mindful of how hard you're pressing into the clay. Avoid flattening it. To begin with, you might find you're putting more air into the clay than you're taking out. If you find you did the first couple of pushes too enthusiastically, roll the clay back up into a log and begin again. Finding the rhythm of wedging is an integral part to the process, and this only comes with practice. With this repeat action on the clay, you'll be forcing the clay to compact together and mixing it at the same time. After approximately 100 of these motions, the clay will be thoroughly wedged and ready for you to work with it. I hope that was helpful. Thanks for watching and thank you for buying my book.